When you play marriage, you're playing the game of roulette, at least if you do it the traditional way. Because before, I did a video talking about marriage and how I think that it's more or less pointless, at least as it's executed right now. I hashed out some issues and talked about that, but I feel like I need to follow up on that. I need to expand on these ideas that I brought up and really bring it home as to my original point and more. And I want to say that first off, marriage basically turns into a roulette game. You know, it's it, you're playing craps. You're gambling. That's the point. You're gambling when you do the marriage system as it is. How could I say that, right? Well, let's say you meet the woman or man of your dreams, right? You you know, you have a whirlwind affair that ends up turning into marriage, and you live with them in a year or so, and then you actually meet the woman or man of your dreams. The one that actually sets your heart aflame. The one that really makes you feel complete. What what do you do with this other person? Or what do you do with yourself? And, and what do you do with this new person you met? It becomes this issue where you know now that this other person is the one that you would make your life complete. The one you married now, they're great and all, you know, you like them, perhaps love them, but they're not the same. And what do you do then? People ask, well, what was the point of me saying marriage should be more limited, contractual, and having time limits, like 10 years or 5 years of renewal? Well, that was part of the big point I was talking about. What if you do realize that that marriage relationship won't work for whatever reason? Whether it is you meet somebody that is better or you just realize that you were good friends with them, maybe you were good lovers, but married isn't the thing, you know? And that is really what it all comes down to is marriage as it is now is a for-life deal. And that is not realistic, quite simply. I mean, it can be if you meet the one person of your dreams to start with. That works then. But how rare is that? How many people go through relationships, dating, loving, hooking up, and then breaking apart? You know, it's, it's part of the cycle of life. You live, you love, and you lose. And then you move on. Marriage stagnates that process by saying this is now and forever. Like I talked about in my previous video, you know, you're married at 25, boom, it's 50. Are you still the same person? No, but now you're with the same person. And if this sounds incredibly negative, yes, this is a negative way of looking at marriage, but more often than not, I have seen this sort of outcome coming to pass, where we have people that are married and their relationship works for a period of time, maybe upwards of five years, but then the weight of life bears down, something else happens, they meet someone new, or they realize that living together constantly just isn't working. And then they're stuck. They have to get a divorce, a long and messy process, which could be very painful for everyone involved, especially if there's children. And you know what? There is ways around this, as I see it. We could simply adjust the system to make it better, to take into account realities of life, that people won't always make the best decisions. That's something that also needs to be brought up. People don't always make the best choices. They sometimes choose badly for themselves due to any number of circumstances, and marriage is something that can be chosen badly. Despite what religious people might have you believe here, you can choose badly in marriage, and marriages can just fail that without, you know, in adultery or any other craziness being involved, they can just fail. And there needs to be an understanding of that in the system. And that was what I was trying to come across with the first one. And that's why I felt I needed to expand the ideas here more, to include things talking about how marriage is a gamble. Quite honestly, like I said, it is a gamble. You might marry right, you might marry wrong, and you're going to get stuck with that either way. Should you have to live the rest of your life with that incorrect decision? Or should there be a way out that isn't completely destructive? I think there should be. Some people will disagree about marriage and tradition and all that, but traditions are only as good as long as they apply. And in today's world, I really don't feel like the marriage tradition applies now. Just something to think about.